This is Dr. Jeff Brooks from the University of Tennessee College of Dentistry and the Department of Oral Maxillofacial Surgery. I'm going to take the next four minutes and talk about the Pizotome Cube by Acteon and our experience with it uh, at, in the department here. We've had, uh, it's been a game changer for us in terms of uh, extracting teeth and uh, performing immediate implant placement or extraction of teeth and uh, performing uh, socket preservation at the same time. We've developed a technique, or we utilize a technique, maybe we didn't develop it, but we're utilizing a technique with the uh, with this uh, piezotome uh, that we, we feel like works great for us. And that's uh, using a series of vertical osteotomies circumferentially around the tooth, as you can see on the model here. We feel it's very important uh, not to leave the uh, uh, piezotome tip down in the alveolar bone uh, for very long. And so we, we use these uh, uh, array or these series of uh, vertical osteotomes placing the uh, tip down uh, in the PDL space uh, just adjacent to the, the, uh, the root surface of the tooth and returning it outside the alveolar bone as soon as possible to allow the tip to cool. Uh, we wanna avoid uh, overheating the tip and causing uh, uh, damage to the uh, alveolar bone uh, by uh, uh, by letting the tip get too hot. As you can see in uh, this video, we're uh, bringing the uh, tip out uh, very quickly and letting the water cool the tip and then returning it to the osteotomy site, uh, directing the uh, tip apically along just adjacent to the root surface uh, of the tooth. Once we've uh, established a a, an array of uh, vertical osteotomies, we can connect that array of osteotomies by moving the, the tip uh, again circumferentially around, around the tooth and joining those uh, osteotomy sites. But we don't leave the tip down in, uh, in that area uh, long enough to let the, the tip get hot. Um, also, here's a, another uh, technique we're using. We're using the LC2L and the LC2R. Uh, we're on the mesial uh, buckle in this area. This gentleman has very dense bone, as you can see, but we're directing the tip apically and just performing these vertical osteotomies and returning the tip out to allow it to cool. We'll use the same tip on the mesial buckle as we do on the distal palatal or the distal lingual, and then we'll change tips one time and use it for the uh, distal buckle and the, uh, the mesial palatal or the mesolingual, depending on the quadrant you're, you're in. But again, the, uh, the important aspect of this technique is to uh, perform these vertical uh, osteotomies and join them and stay as close to the root surface as possible in the uh, PDL space, much like you would do a manual um, periotome uh, using uh, the periotome for, for the extraction. Uh, utilizing this technique, it's very efficient and we can uh, maintain the integrity of the extraction site, performing a very atraumatic extraction, allowing us to retain the uh, circumferential bone um, for uh, either placement of implants uh, or, or uh, for immediate uh, bone grafting. We also have found uh, the uh, Pizotome cube by Acteon, very useful in uh, other applications uh, for uh, alveolar ridge splits. Their uh, uh, very vast array of uh, various tips allow us to uh, make the appropriate selection for the, the uh, procedure at hand, and uh, we're using it for various other uh, surgical uh, procedures as well. Here's a case of a single tooth that was ankylosed, had been endodontically uh, treated, and uh, the prosthodontic department wanted this to be coronally repositioned and placed in the arch wire. We used the uh, piezotome cube by Acteon to perform the uh, osteotomies uh, all the way through from buccal to palatal, maintaining the palatal mucosa as the blood supply to this, uh, this segment. We're going to coronally reposition it and place the uh, the bracket in the arch wire for stability and and perform grafting around the osteotomy site, close it, 
and stabilize it for healing. Here's a post-operative pan showing great uh, repositioning of that segment and in perfect alignment with the, uh, with the adjacent teeth.